What's up everybody? In today's video I'm going to be removing the oil pan and the cross member in preparation for the turbo installation. So the first thing in order to get the cross member and the oil pan off I needed a way to suspend the engine. Most people use like an engine hoist or something but I don't have one and I don't have a whole lot of room in my garage it's pretty tight so what did I did is I just kind of made this contraption out of a 2x4 it goes across the top here right here there's kind of a little flat spot so it's fairly sturdy but then I just ran some ratchet straps on a couple points on each side of the engine and then if we come underneath the car you can see it's hanging there before I did the ratchet straps, I had it um, jacked up a little with a jack. Uh, this seems to do the trick. It's holding it steady. So right now I already have the cross member out and everything. So yeah, it, it seems pretty solid. So to get this cross member off that holds the engine and everything together under here, um, I'll give you a quick breakdown. There's a bolt here same thing on the other side underneath here you can see there's a nut right here and then there's one just on the back of it so there's two there on the motor mounts you have to unhook those on this side the driver's side there's three over here on the passenger side i don't know if i can get it but there's two up there and also there's a couple little bolts holding these like hydraulic lines on you just undo those so that's pretty easy and then this is the driver's side but you'll have to do the same thing on the passenger side also there's a band that goes from this cross member and it wraps over top of the uh, steering rack there's a bolt on each side you have to get those off and um, so it's pretty loose now uh, so now I think it's just a matter of wiggling it around. It looks like maybe I'll have to try to take those motor mounts all the way off to get it out. We'll see. So there it is off. It wasn't too difficult. There's a number of bolts, but really they came out pretty easy. What I ended up having to do, I thought I was going to be able to just wiggle it around to get it out, but there's actually these two bolts on this thing here and then uh, this one that goes on the sway bar and that's on both the driver side and the passenger side I had to unhook those once I unhook those this little arm here it moves around pretty freely you want to be a little careful the, steer the steering racks just floating around at this point so be careful with that now as far as the cross member goes that's the passenger side there I'm not going to do anything with it this is the driver side and so I was able to get this off. If you look at the turbo cross member compared to the NA cross member, they're almost identical except for this piece right here looks like it's swapped around like that. And that creates a cavity right here in the car where the turbo can go. Now what I did with this, I wasn't sure how well this was going to work, um, but there's some little pins that just hold this to the cross member. And you can see them on this side here. So I just tried to drill those pins out the best that I could. And then I just got a chisel, hammer, and you know, was able to finish them off and get it off that way. It took much more time to do the drilling. The, after that it came off actually pretty easy. However, I don't, I might have to modify this. I was hoping I could just flip it around, but as you can kind of tell, uh, if you just flop it around, it's going to give you kind of a weird angle. So what I think I'm going to have to do is cut some off of this section right here. And then uh, hopefully you can get it about at the right angle. Um, I may have to do a little bit of test fitting and then do some tack welding. And then, you know, ultimately just weld the whole thing on there. But I think that's actually going to work out pretty good. I have never heard of anybody doing that before, but I think that that will work. So now I'm going to be going underneath the car to undo the oil pan. So 
So the oil pan's pretty straightforward. I got one bolt out there, but there's just a bunch of bolts that go right around the edge and you just basically take those off. So I did have to get a screwdriver and kind of pry on the uh, oil pan just a little bit, but it came loose and now it's just a matter of trying to get this thing out of here. So after it taking me longer than what I expected, I got the oil pan off. Um, I had to do a lot of wiggling. Now most of this stuff was already unhooked when I took the cross member off, but uh, this ball joint right here, I did have to unhook that. As you can see, the steering rack, by taking that ball joint out, I was able to just drop one side and it just gave me enough um, space to just kind of wiggle that thing out. So that's all I'm gonna be getting done in today's video. The next video I'm gonna be drilling the hole for the oil line the oil return line on the turbo and then once i get that reinstalled i'll have to work on getting this cross member figured out uh, being able to do something with that if you want to see those other videos just hit my subscribe button that also helps me out and as always thanks for watching